clip from Blockbuster, which premieres globally today only on Netflix. Congratulations on the show. For anyone who doesn't know, tell us what it's about <laughs> and who you play. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so it's a workplace comedy set in the last Blockbuster on Earth. Um, and Randall Park plays Timmy, who is the manager. And it's really also about what it takes to keep a small business alive these days and uh, how we can all have these dysfunctional work families. And I play Eliza, um, who is sort of at a crossroads in her life and a little lost and like does not want to be working at the Blockbuster and has known Timmy for a long time and maybe there's a spark and you know, it's, it's, it's like fun and hilarious and heartwarming and all the things. It's a real voice raiser. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're all around the right age to have gone to Blockbuster on a Friday evening. Uh, what do you most remember about those times? God, you know, I just remember, like, it was, yeah, you go on Friday nights to pick out your movies for the weekends. I would fight with my brother about which movies we were going to rent because we would have to watch each other's choices. And you know what? I'm sad for the youth because they will never know the thrill of going into a blockbuster and running up to the new releases and the movie you've been dying to watch is all out, but you go up to the counter and you, see one. And you ask them to check the return oh. box yeah. and it's there. <laughs> and the oh. thrill of like, oh, it's yeah. here. My abiding There's nothing memory, like that. My yeah. abiding memory of Blockbuster is going, we had a day at my school where there was like a, a burst pipe. So school was called off that day, right? So we couldn't go to school. And I was probably about 15 at the time. And you remember there used to be like an adult section in Blockbuster and the movies were called something like Scarlet Lace or something <laughs> like that, right? So I put on a suit, right? I got a briefcase, a briefcase, and I had a toy flip mobile phone, oh. right? It's a toy one. No. And I walked down to Blockbuster and I went in like this. Yeah, Jake, let me call you back. Picked it up used my dad's Blockbuster card, and they rented it to me, right? <gasps> terrible, terrible film. I do not recommend it. Um, <laughs> but then I had to, like, hide it because my parents were coming back from work, and I completely forgot all about it. About two months later, our home phone rings, and the guy from Blockbuster goes, um, you rented Scarlet Lace, <laughs> and your bill is now... 209 pounds. Oh. And my dad's like, James! <laughs> <laughs> so I fold like a goes, I'm so sorry. So sorry. <laughs> my dad goes down and goes, listen, that's my son. He's 15. You rented in this film. Let's say we cancel this bill and we're not going to take this any further. And the guy went, <laughs> absolutely, it's fine. And he got out of pain. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Now, Cal. Smart. Yeah. Now, Cal, <laughs> Cal, I really want to talk to you about this. This is very interesting. So, I don't know how comfortable you are talking about this, but Variety magazine recently reported that you are in the running to potentially take over from Trevor Noah on The Daily Show, right? Now, before you say anything, before you say anything, can I say, knowing you as I do, I think you would be absolutely brilliant. I couldn't think of anybody oh, yeah. better as we go into this next election year to do such a thing given your experience as a White House staffer and your experience as an extremely brilliant comedic performer. But is this something that you would ever consider? First of all, thank you. I what mean a, what, no, a, what I mean a kind it. thing to say. I mean it. Can I, your can life I use you, alone. Can I use you as a referral? Because I filled out the application on Comedy Central. <laughs> you need two referrals. Yeah. I called the Obamas. OK. Uh, I couldn't get through to Michelle, so I have one from the president. OK. So can you be my number Absolutely. two? Absolutely. Great. All right. no, would, look, you, I, would you be into I, I grew up on John Stewart's yeah. Daily Show, right? And obviously, I revere Trevor Noah. So just the, the mere fact that I was even mentioned in an article like that is a huge honor. I, I, I feel like I should leave it at that. I mean, who wouldn't want to, to, to have that opportunity? It's a, it's a show that I think so many of us grew up on and, and just really appreciate. I think you could be absolutely exceptional. I really, thank you. really do. And thank if it comes you. your way, I think you should grab it thank you. with both thank hands. You. Ladies and gentlemen, please thank our incredible guests, Melissa Fumero and Cal Penn. Stick around. Trey Wakeman is here when we come back.